Hi everyone, Miss America 2011, Teresa Scanlon here. So one of the questions that I get a lot is, doesn't everybody who competes in Miss America have to be really rich because it costs so much money to compete? Well, also a variation of that is a lot of people think that the average person can't compete in Miss America. Many people think that you have to have all sorts of special factors and be from certain families or from certain areas and have all of these fancy things. That is not true at all. In fact, it couldn't be further from the truth. This stems from a misunderstanding of what it actually takes to compete in Miss America. See, a lot of people don't know that there are about 1,400 locals all over the country um, that Miss America contestants can compete in. And that means anybody. <laughs> that means anyone who qualifies. What are the qualifications? Well, it lays out the various age and grade requirements. You have to be graduated from high school. You have to be between 17 and 25 years old. Um, some other qualifications. But that doesn't rule everyone out. It's not anything extra special. Your average college student uh, who is, say, 20 years old, going to college in Nebraska, say, can find a local near her and compete in it. That's it. It's really pretty simple. So what happens is you can go search for locals in your area by going to missamerica.org. You find your state and then you find your locals and you enter one. Many people think that it costs tons of money to compete. So let me tell you a secret. I competed from 13 to 17 in Miss America's Outstanding Teen, which is kind of like the little sister pageant to Miss America. And uh, my parents always made it a rule that I was never allowed to spend more than $50 on a dress. So I went four years of competing, uh, never spending more than $50 on any pageant that I competed in. And so my very first pageant, I won in a $12 dress. We would go to after prom sales. Um, we would go find any hand-me-down dresses from other people, borrow them, whatever you have to do. It doesn't cost a lot, and you can still win awesome scholarship money. I think something that a lot of people don't realize is that you really don't have to put more into it than you get out of it. The Miss America system is not a winner-takes-all system. So what that means is you don't have to win a title to earn scholarship money. Yeah, a lot of people think that only Miss America wins this huge scholarship and everybody else goes home with nothing. That is not true at all. At the local level, at the state level, and at the level of Miss America, there are multiple scholarships for a variety of different things. So you could technically never win a title in your entire life and still earn thousands of dollars in scholarship money. There's academic scholarships, there's scholarships for talent, there's scholarships for volunteer community service, and so many other things. Uh, several pageants that I didn't win, I would win a talent scholarship or an academic scholarship. And that really makes a difference. You can pay a substantial amount of your college just by competing throughout your college years. It really doesn't take anything more than that. So something that deters a lot of people that they're confused about is thinking that it's going to cost them thousands of dollars. You simply don't have to spend a lot of money to compete. And there's no entry fee. The Miss America organization exists to provide scholarships for the young women that are competing. So they don't want to make it difficult on you. There's no, there's no entry fees, and there's really not any extra things that you have to be paying for on a regular basis. Another thing that people think, and a reason why they think your average girl can't compete in Miss America, is many people believe that you have to have competed since the time you were three years old, or two, or one, whatever it may be. People ask me all the time, so have you competed since you were a toddler? No, not at all. Um, I would even venture to say that the majority, if not all, of the young kids that compete in pageants will never make it to the Miss America level. Pretty much all of your Miss America contestants are girls that have just started. Um, many times you have Miss Americas that it was their first year or they had only done it a couple years, whatever it may be. No experience is necessary at all, is not required in any way. So I started competing in high school, I competed the Miss America's Outstanding Team, and my very first year competing in Miss America, the local Miss Nebraska and then Miss America, it was my first year and I won. So it certainly doesn't take a ton of experience. People think that you have to kind of put your time in multiple, multiple years until you finally earn it. That's not true at all. I think a lot of times we like to make up things about those organizations, competitions, whatever it may be, that we aren't familiar with. 
and so we just kind of make things up off the top of our head that actually aren't true at all. And so a lot of people may think your average girl can't compete in Miss America. You can't compete unless you're rich. You can't compete unless you've been competing your entire life. None of those things are true. See, I was the middle of seven children. I told my parents since the time I was about seven or eight years old that I wanted to go to law school. So my dad made it very clear, very quickly, that scholarships would be the way to do that. So for me, I was a average kid in Western Nebraska. Grew up in a small town, 8,000 people, and competing in pageants was just a way to earn scholarship money to hopefully go to law school one day. And it's been one of the best decisions I've made in my entire life. If I can do it, I always say, anybody can.